Hello guys, we are about to show you another investment property in Zamudgita. So this place is called Dream Beach Cafe, but it also comes with two apartment buildings and a pickleball court and your own white sand beach. And a personal favorite of mine, it's one of the best dive sites right out front uh, in the area. So it's for sale. This whole land is 2,000 square meters. Right. Single signatory, ready to go. No, no dramas there. It's, it comes with the, the entire business, the restaurant that we're gonna show you, and the apartment buildings that are already being rented out. They're already being rented, uh, getting that rental income, so yeah. Yeah, and this lot already registered as uh, commercial property, so there is no hassle, just, yeah. Yeah, they've been here a long time. They just got done rebuilding this entire place, including the two buildings uh, for the apartments and then the entire restaurant area that we're gonna show you. I've been diving here for like four or five years and we like this spot because not only is it a good site, but we can have lunch or whatever in between dives. But it used to be just a little native kind of shack. Now they closed down, totally remodeled this place and it's super nice. I'm excited to, uh, to show you. The owners came to me and said, hey, we're gonna sell the place. And I was like, we gotta, we gotta go. It's, it's a nice one. Yeah, and it just recently uh, listed, yeah? So. Yeah, today. <laughs> this is the first time we're the first ones to announce it and okay. uh, show the entire property, so. Let's check it out. Let's go. So this is the downstairs bedroom on this first apartment building. Really nice yard and uh, porch. So yeah, it's sitting area. And you can see ocean. And you can see even Apple Island. It's not so clear on a video, I know. But with your own eyes, it seems much more bigger. Because distance uh, to Apple Island from here about seven kilometers. This is, this is actually the closest point to Mount I forgot or to Apple Island. I forgot mm. to tell you. So this, seven this little bay, this little bay right here uh, that we'll show you out front in a minute is where all the ferries and stuff go to Apple Island, all the local ferries. So it's only like a 30, 35 minute boat ride to Apple from here. This yeah, so it's there. basically best view on Apple Island. Yeah, my resort in Darwin, it's like 45 to an hour. Right here is about 30 minutes, just really close. Okay. Well, let's, let's go, go check inside. out uh, inside. I like these big old doors. Remember that house we filmed before? Yeah. It's so nice and uh, cold inside. No, no heat getting in. Yeah, and they're so smoothly. Really cold AC too. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, this guy that is living here, he's not, he's he's just renting this place and storing his stuff here while they build a house somewhere in town. So he's never here, so it's kind of just like being used as storage. But uh, you can see how nice it is, how, how, how nicely built. Yeah. Big old nice fridge. Oh yeah. Another big uh, same style bedroom and bathroom. I have the same type fridge in my house, so here is um, for cooler. yeah for freezer and this one for chiller area. Yeah. yeah, it's very good. Big old bedroom with the closet doors. Uh, everything closes. Oh, cool. But uh, big old hidden bathroom, just, <laughs> like, just like upstairs. Yeah, it's so interesting when uh, mirrors are everywhere around. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> yeah, really not very typical build, this place. Really high quality. Yeah. I like it. So I think we got uh, another one next door we can go check out. It's the whole thing in one. Yeah, and I like this sink. So it's a whole big stone. Yeah. Here we have some sockets, shower for two people, I suppose. Shower, toilet. Yeah, very nice and cozy. Here's another cabinet. And behind these mirrors, 
Yeah, let's check inside. It's a storage place. Yeah, it's not big, but it's so comfortable and cozy. Yeah. It's yeah. For one or two. two. Very smart design. So let's go and check upstairs, yeah? Second yeah. floor? Yeah. So this is the upstairs. It's kind of like a loft style. Well, Fancy they're in a loft style because it's not just like a studio with one room. There's a whole big bedroom, kitchen, balconies, and then another bathroom over there. So yeah, let's check so that out. Huge TV, look. Kitchen with everything you may need. Yeah, and I like this island table where you can cook, cut veggies, and eat at the same time. And when you or your wife will wash dishes. You can have these amazing views. Alex. Yep. Let me show you the bathroom and the master bedroom on this top floor. It's pretty nice as well. Sure. And air cons everywhere. Big old walk-in bathroom. Check that one out. Oh yeah. You can definitely tell it was Westerners that uh, built this. It's uh, it's really. Done really nice, I like it. Yeah. Aircon in this room, aircon in this room. Yeah. And everything comes uh, fully furnished as is. You kinda kinda come see it for yourself to see how nice it is, but it's it's as is. Comes already with these giant TVs. I don't know how big that is, man. That must be like 70 inches. Yeah, really huge. Makes my 55 look tiny. <laughs> but. Everything's already fully furnished, and I can tell you that costs a lot of money. Yeah, and I like this design of uh, ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, this light. Cool. It's very cozy. And here is another door with emergency exit. Or maybe you can use it as smoke area, yeah? Smoking area. Nice porch as well. Oh my, so cool. Yeah, uh, you can definitely hear the waves and everything right here. So it's kind of messy in here because we just kind of ran in here. Uh, it's already rented, which yeah. is good if you're buying a business. It's already rented long term. Uh, I don't know if we explained that, but this this top one right here, I think they're renting it for thirty-five thousand a month. Yeah, right. The bottom story, twenty-five thousand a month, and then one we're about to go look at is the whole thing together, and that's fifty-five thousand a month. Yeah. But he says when he puts it on Airbnb, he makes way more, like 5500 a day. So, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. go look at those because these are really, really nice. They just got finished building this year. And just like the, uh, the entire restaurant, everything's brand new. Let's go inside. It's built a lot different. So you got your uh, king size bed right here at the at the front of the house on a platform. It's nice. Let's go check out the sides. Yeah, and the uh, doors and windows they're tint, so you can see outside. But big, out from outside you can big see. Big old inside. closet space, shelves back here it's like a second bedroom i think not furnished yet but uh just like the other ones uh, just a nicer ac yeah i'm sure it's place for storage like a uh, in another building yeah and shower and cr behind mirror walls yeah a lot of storage place so you can make it like the other house where you have a bed in here and your bathroom and take that one out or you can use them both like that. This is how they wanted it. It's like secret bathroom. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So unlike the other building where the two apartments or the two floors are split off, this one is just one. So you come in through the main room and 
you can go upstairs to the second story. It's part of the kitchen and kind of like the other one. Yeah, you're right. It's a kitchen. There's AC. Oh my, so beautiful flowers outside. Mosquito nets everywhere. Oh. Lazy boy. Yeah, what a nice couch. Oh, here you can put your tumbler or I don't know what you like to drink. Corte tea. Yeah, Nice area, but check out this porch. We have a nice porch. The kitchen is everything, oven, rent. Yeah, let's check this out. You can go look at the ocean all. Oh my. Yeah, definitely can live here. <laughs> all right, so we checked out the accommodation that they, they run out here. Let's go check out the pickleball court, the beach, and the actual entire restaurant, which is, uh, there's a lot of people down there. It's pretty busy, but let's show it anyway. So right now it's really, really high tide, so you can't really see the beach. But normally this is a white sand beach all the way out to, out there. Yeah, you know, I even like when it's like high tide because water right near restaurant you can see you can eat like in the middle of ocean <laughs> so i've been diving here for like five six years it's such a good dive site we go straight out under these boats 20 30 meters deep and there's a lot of really rare species right here so this place used to be just some uh, native houses or whatever with the restaurant even though the food was still good but this year they finally finished those two apartment buildings and this restaurant is super nice now like they had to really expand because this place got really really popular they make really good kini lao here and i also recommend the schnitzel it's like this big <laughs> so they left us when they did the construction they left us a nice little entry right here for diving or for swimming or whatever and since it's a nice sandy not rocky uh, beach really really easy access so it's not just popular by me we got a lot of divers that come here and we like it because it's really good diving but also we could have coffee or or lunch or whatever in between dives or after dives or before it's a really convenient spot so really popular for divers as well as everybody else Let's show them the kitchen, the dining area, and the pickleball court. All Let's brand go. new. So there's a ton of dining area now, tons of seating, a lot of seats right on the beach, a lot of seats a little bit off, and, but they're always full, man. We had to wait a little bit to get our table. And we're out here in San Miguel. We're not like in the center of Dallin or Dumaguete or something. So it, it says something. This place kind of built a name for itself over the years, and now it's new and improved it's it's really popular so this is the big uh, dining area right here on the beach let's go in the unauthorized area and check out their kitchen yeah and they're cooking right now yeah, it's a big area inside yeah big old professional uh, kitchen now Big old open windows in the front so the diners can see you cooking. It's a really, really nice place, man. We were really impressed and surprised when it opened back up. We're like, oh my God, it's so nice now. Yeah. So, uh, love it. There's some uh, outdoor bathrooms on the outside because swimmers and divers are all wet. And then there's some changing rooms. And then, uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of cool areas around here. And it's all, everything we're showing you is all one. In the, in the sale price so yeah we came here without any warnings so look how here clean and organized everything
Good, that's great. All right, let's go check out the dining area and the rest of the uh, grounds. This is a pickleball court. And we're like, what is a pickleball court? Because I've been in the Philippines so long, but I had some friends and stuff come from America. They said it's the fastest growing sport in America. So this pickleball court popped up and sure enough, every day that I come diving, there's people playing pickleball, especially after five or whatever, when it starts to uh, cool down and they got yeah. the big lights and stuff. So uh, they got a full on pickleball court right on the beach. So this is the uh, covered parking, mainly for the, uh, the guests of the apartments. Mm -hmm. This little building right here behind Alex, uh, back in the, a few years ago, they were using it as another rental, just like 5,000 a month or something, just a real small one bedroom house. I think now it's used as storage, but new owners could use it for whatever they want. So guys, we showed you this place around, and uh, I know the main question will be how much. So how much is it? So the owners are asking 70 million pesos. It's highly negotiable, but they're going to pay the taxes, the transfer fees, all the things that uh, come with transitioning to uh, the new owner in the Philippines. Yeah. So. We're going to put the link down below to our email. The the owners are right here. They're a little shy to be on camera, uh, but you can get a hold of us for serious buyers. You can come down and meet us. We're allowed to show you the place where we're, then we can talk about numbers of profit and ROI and things like that that yeah. you can't really do on camera. Uh, for serious buyers only. So guys, if you will be near, just message us and we will show you this place in person. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you next videos.